Need some coins for rookie premieres? Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com for the safest and cheapest coins anywhere. Use code Zerk at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What is going on guys? It is Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be helping you guys figure out which is the best team captain for you guys to choose for your team. Now, uh, a few things I have to say. First off, uh, these pictures I took from a video from Eric Rayweather, so I'll leave a link in the description to his channel. Big shout out to him. But uh, also, I made a video yesterday going over not only these players, but the GOAT players, the 83 overall loyalty players, and also the free 89 overall Antonio Brown that you guys are going to be able to get for pre-ordering the Hall of Fame edition of Madden 19. So, make sure you guys uh, go ahead and check that video out if you guys haven't seen it, or the GOAT edition, I think, yeah, the GOAT edition, not the Hall of Fame edition. But, with that being said, uh, I'm going to go over the four 90 overall team captains we have, and I'm going to kind of give you guys my opinions on which ones I think you should choose. Now, now you guys actually get these people from playing solo challenges, and they do start off as 75 overall, but you can upgrade them to a 90 overall, essentially for free. I think you either have to play more solo challenges to get them to 90 overall or spend a little bit of training. But from what I've heard, you get a ton of training from playing the solos, from quick selling uh, like silver items or whatever, and also just in general if you get the Hall of Fame edition or the Go edition, I heard that you get a ton of training from that. So, uh, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and go over the four team captains that we have and kind of help you guys figure out which team captain you should do for your team. So, First off, we have 90 overall Ray Lewis team captain. Remember, these guys do start off at 75 overall, but then, of course, you can upgrade them to a 90. Now, taking a look at Ray Lewis's stats. Now, for a 90 overall middle linebacker, uh, of course, Ray Lewis, never really the fastest uh, linebacker in Madden, but he's mostly known for that tackling and that hit power. So, Ray Lewis has 81 speed, which is pretty decent uh, compared to, I, I've seen a lot of different, you'll see like uh, the speed on a lot of these cards, and honestly, the cards don't really seem to be extremely fast this year. Uh, 81 speed, 85 acceleration, also has an 86 strength, but a 91 tackle, 91 play rec, with a 91 hit power, 89 block shed, and a 78 zone. Now, I don't think that we actually have a 91 zone threshold this year, so I don't think the zone coverage really matters as much as it did in Madden 18. So that being said, if you guys want to go with a defender in the middle, now keep in mind you guys have to realize that we're going to have uh, the GOAT players, we're also going to have the free loyalty players, if you guys played 16, 17, and 18, then you get three of them, if you played 16 before 17 came out, 17 before 18 came out, and then of course 18 before 19, then you get three free players, and Zach Brown is one of the choices. Now I also went over Zach Brown's stats in my other videos, so make sure you check that one out, but Obviously, Ray Lewis is going to have way better, like, hit power tackling and stuff like that. I think speed, um, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they were actually about the same speed. Uh, if I'm wrong, and then what I actually can see is 81 speed and 89 tackling with 84 hit power and the 83 overall is Zach Brown. So... I mean, it's a pretty big upgrade. Obviously, it's Ray Lewis. Will they drop more upgrades throughout the year that you can bring to these players? Possibly. So you could get higher than a 90 overall with them. But also, if you guys are looking to pick up maybe the regular legend, Ray Lewis, when his card does drop, because you got to think they're going to drop a legend, Ray Lewis. Obviously, you can't run dupes. So with Ray Lewis, also when he gets, you know, not as good, uh, a depth position, middle linebacker, still uh, pretty good. I mean, you can always have Ray Lewis as a third middle linebacker. But when it comes to people having like 90 plus speed receivers every single play, 81 speed, not really too sure how well that's going to work. Now next up, we have Jerry Rice, which I forgot to tell you guys, but personally, I do think that Ray Lewis card is pretty dang good. I personally wouldn't go with it though, but onto Jerry Rice, you guys can see his card art, and it looks like he has Playmaker Cam, and onto his stats, he has 87 speed, 85 jumping, he also has a 91 catch, 89 catch in traffic, 87 spectacular catch, 91 short route running, 90 medium route running, and an 86 deep. Now, 
I, uh, I personally really like this Jerry Rice card, not so much because the card itself is like super, super good. 87 speed, uh, we haven't really compared it to a lot of other receivers because we haven't seen the stats of the receivers, but the 89 overall Antonio Brown that we get is really, really slow, to be honest. He has 84 speed on 89 Antonio Brown. So for Jerry Rice to have 87 speed, that's three speeds faster than the free Antonio Brown you guys get. So that's pretty decent. 85 jumping obviously could be a little bit better. 87 spec catch, meh. 89 catch of traffic, decent I guess. But the route running is actually extremely good. And the catching is also pretty dang good at a 91 catch. So you have 91 catching, 91 uh, short route running, and 90 medium. Those are both pretty dang good. Uh, 86 deep route running as well. So honestly, and especially the thing with Jared Rice is that once you get him to a 90 overall, obviously he'll be on your team for a little bit. But then once he's not able to start for you, you have a fourth wide receiver, a 90 overall Jerry Rice. That's still extremely freaking good. Again, I feel like a depth position is very, very valuable over someone like a linebacker or something. Because, of course, wide receivers probably play more than uh, like a backup third middle linebacker, depending on what type of defenses or offense you guys run. If you run five wide, obviously Jerry Rice is going to be on the field. So, uh, Jerry Rice, in my personal opinion, may be possibly the best one. Now onto the third one, we have Shannon Sharp, and we're going to take a look at his stats, and he has 82 speed, 80 strength, 87 catch, 85 catch on traffic, 82 spectacular catch, 84 short route running, 79 medium, we can't see his deep route running, but he has an 80 run block in which, in my opinion, if you guys throw to your tight end quite a bit, and you also use them to run block, Shannon Sharp's actually pretty dang good. Now, usually... I wouldn't like to go with someone like Shannon Sharp because of the fact he's only six foot two. I personally like to throw high point fades to my tight end, so I'm not going to go with Sharp, but if he fits your offense and you like to run up the seam, I mean, he does have pretty decent catch of traffic with an 85, the run blocking at an 80 is pretty dang good. I feel like Shannon Sharp is actually a very, very solid choice here. So if you guys, uh, you have a lot of, say you don't run five wide that much, you run four verticals a lot or something like that, uh, you he can definitely catch it in traffic and also run block if you're okay with him being six foot two shannon sharp pretty dang good and also i mean tight end depth it's not really the most needed thing unless you guys like run single back formation a lot where you have like three tight ends out there then when he comes to your second tight end he'll still be a beast out there for you and the final team captain that we have is 90 overall michael strahan and there's a reason i saved him for last because this guy looks like a stud to me now if you guys are not as good on defense as you are on offense me i'm really good at my user besides that i'm not the best at defense so when it comes time for a pass rush i need some help and i gotta say if you're a player like that in terms of the best defensive one i would take straight hand over lewis and i'll probably go with jared rice over shannon sharp so basically between those two for me, and because of the fact I know who I'm going with the GOAT player, I'm going to take Rod Woodson. Uh, for my free elite player, I'm probably going to take a receiver. And uh, of course, you'll also get 89 uh, Antonio Brown for free. I'm probably going to go with Michael Strahan, just because you can get a 90 overall left end who has 77 speed, 84 excel, 84 strength, 84 tackle, 91 play rec, 85 block shed, but a 90 power move and an 86 finesse move. Now, that's not even including the fact that we can't see his hip power. And I'm sure he's got pretty dang good hip power. So, my personal opinion, I'm going to go with Michael Strahan just because of the fact that you really already get a free 89 AB if you get the Hall of Fame or the GOAT edition. So, going to Jerry Rice, it could be a little bit of overkill with your wide receivers, especially if you're going to take Brandon Cooks. But if you want to go that route, take Jerry Rice, uh, get the free Antonio Brown, and also get the Brandon Cooks 83 overall, then you could do that. I'm personally going to get Brandon Cooks. I know that's off Cooks and Antonio Brown day one, uh, worst case scenario. And then I'll take 90 or 75 overall Michael Strahan for my team captain, upgrade him to 90 as soon as I possibly can. And honestly, this card is going to be an absolute beast. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video and I hope this kind of helped you guys pick who you want to go with. Let me know down below, who are you picking for your team captain? and why are you guys more of an offensive player more of a defensive player whatever let me know down below and if we get any more madden 19 news of course i'll be one of the first people with the videos up if not 
the first person with the video is up. And as always, if you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you hit the sub button and turn the notification bell on. I'm going to bring out so many tips for you guys this year. Pack openings, gameplays. I promise you guys, I will be on top of it just like I was in Madden 18. So do not fret about that. But if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. I will see you guys next time.